Now that you're familiar with the basic overview about National Defense Academy and Naval Academy examination, let me also inform you about how you can be the part of these academies. Hello everyone and welcome to SSP Crack Exams. I am Chetan and in this session, I'll be guiding you about the complete selection procedure for this exam. So let's start. We shall start off with the basic chronology which is involved in the various stages of selection procedure. Then later in this session, we'll also discuss in brief about each of these stages, which are written examination, SSB interview, medical examination, and merit list. So the very first stage is the written examination, the NDA written examination. Now this written examination is something in which each and every candidate has to appear. Once that particular candidate qualifies this exam, then they get their respective SSB call letter. Now this SSB call letter is for their SSB interview. Once the candidate qualifies their SSB interview, then they are declared as SSB recommended candidate. Now, the candidates are of two types. One who have opted for the flying branch and the pilot entry. And those candidates who have opted for the flying branch, they will be directly asked to appear for CPSS, which will be followed by medical aviation exam, right? Now, for those candidates who have not appeared or who have not applied for flying branch, they will directly be asked to appear in the medical examination. Now, each and every candidate, once declared fit by the medical board, they will be eligible to appear in the merit list, right? Now, we shall discuss about each of these stages in very brief. The very first one is the NDA written examination, which is an offline examination and is conducted twice every year by UPSC. Now, the paper consists of two papers, uh, which is one of mathematics and the other one is of GAT. GAT is for general ability test. Now mathematics has a code of 01 which is of 150 minutes that is two and a half hours and carries 300 marks. While the general ability test is having a code of 02 and uh, the total duration for this exam is also uh, 150 minutes. Now this general ability test carries 600 marks. So in total the total written examination carries 900 marks. Right now, once the candidate qualifies the written examination, then they are eligible for SSB interview. Now, this SSB interview is conducted by Services Selection Board, that is SSB. This complete uh, interview is of five day process and it is conducted in two different stages. The very first one is the screening stage or the stage one, which involves officer intelligence rating and picture perception and description test. Now, this happens on the very first day of the interview and this is a one day process. Now, only those candidates who will qualify this is stage one will be allowed to appear in the stage two and rest are sent back home. Now, in stage two, this includes tasks like interview, group testing officer tasks, then psychology tests and the conference. Now, all these tasks happen in the rest of the four days of the SSB interview. Once the candidate clears both the stages, then they are declared as SSB recommended candidates. Now, for those of the candidates who have applied for the flying branch, they will uh, be uh, they will be asked to appear for computerized pilot selection system or CPSS, which is a one time test. Now the grades which they will get in a CPSS test, uh, which will be secured by them uh, in the very first test will therefore hold good for every subsequent and the upcoming interview that they will be appearing for AFSP. Apart from that, in case if that candidate fails, then uh, if, the, if that, that particular candidate fails in the CPSS, then they cannot apply for the admission to the NDA examination for the flying branch of uh, Air Force Wing or the general duties branch of Naval Air Arm, right? Now, those candidates who have uh, been recommended by SSP, but uh, they have not opted for the flying branch, they will directly be asked to appear for the medical examination. Now, this is conducted by Board of Service Medical Officers and one thing uh, or one point worth noting over here is that only those candidates will be admitted to the academy who are declared fit by the medical board, right? Now, after this, the final uh, merit list is uploaded by, published by UPSC on their website. Now, this merit list does not consist of the medical status of that particular candidate. This is based upon the combined marks of only written examination and a subsequent SSP interview, right? The final merit list is then uploaded with medical status by respective career website of Army, Navy and Air Force, right? Now, after that, uh, based on the vacancies, of course, and the order or the merit of the candidates uh, all over India, the candidates get the joining instructions for their respective academy, right? 
So with this, now I hope that the details about the selection procedure is clear to you all. To boost up your chances further to be the part of the forces, you can check out the courses which are specially designed to get you into the uniform. For that, download our app SSB Crack Exams from Google Play Store. Now for more details regarding the exam notification, you can continue with the session. Thank you. Jai Hind.